Oh no! I've been doing an awful lot of rip cuts with hand saws recently and it's just been hard work so I thought, Do you know what, I'm going to get myself a proper rip cut saw. And then someone in a comment recommended I try a Japanese saw and I thought, that's a good idea. <laughs> Hi, I'm Chris. Welcome to King Bespoke Creations. Yes, we're trying out a Japanese saw today. And what's the difference between a Japanese saw and a Western style saw? Well, all Western saws look a bit like this. They've got fairly thick, sturdy blades on them and they're cut by pushing the saw through the wood. A Japanese saw works on the pull. So here we are. I went on the on the internet shopping site. I'll put a link in the description, don't worry. Um, and I came up with one of these. Now, this is brilliant because this is a two for one. So as we carefully unwrap this so as not to chop your fingers off. Uh, this has two different cutting sides to it. Um, so we have a rip cut side and a cross cut side it's a two for one how good is that now at first you kind of look at this and go well you attach there that's going to be all bendy isn't it that's no good but because this works on the pull even if this slackens off a little bit that should work as you pull it straight that that tension is still there and it is quite a lot thinner than a standard western style saw so i'm going to undo this screw on here which opens those two out and then I can slot that in between I think yeah there we go right up to the end like that and then I'm going to tighten that up now again when you're completely used to a western saw that just feels so wrong to have a joint there that's not all thick and sturdy but that's not how it works so what do we use this for then? So this is the cross cut blade on this side with the multiple teeth completely designed. Well, it just feels a little bit weird at first that it's cutting on a pull. See, it's, it's bowing a little bit, but that's because I'm used to pushing the, the blade through. So I've got to really change my style here. I'm not going to say it cuts any quicker than a Western saw, because that's purely dependent on how sharp the blade is. It cuts as cleanly as any saw I've used before. It's just this different style. So let me try this rip cut, which is exactly what I bought this blade specifically for. I might be too tall there actually. Yeah, that's better. Just got to be careful. And I suspect that's that's probably my technique. Well, so what is my instantaneous decision on this? Well, I like it. It's good. It cuts as sharply and as cleanly as any brand new saw will ever do. So I'm not worried about that. Um, it's just the different action that this requires that might just take a little bit of getting used to. So we saw there as I was just trying to power through, um, you can't really do that. I think this is a, a saw that just needs a little bit of time and a little bit of patience, which is what hand tool working should really be. This great big monster thing, it's all about the shove. This isn't, this is about the pull, this is about the delicate stuff. So let's think about this in a little bit more detail. How does this differ really from a Western saw? Is there anything else? Well, do you know what I don't think there is? The more I use this, the more I think about its pressure with thumb on the top and little fingers back here to rotate that into the wood. Exactly the same as I do with a western saw it's about pulling back with these fingers against this fulcrum here to put more pressure onto the saw it's not about pushing down to dig it in and with this i'm not going to be 
pushing down on there to do that either. What I haven't tried yet is whether it makes a difference where I hold this. So let's give that a whirl. So definitely it's really nice to start. Quite often with the Western saws, starting the cut takes a little bit of kind of, you've got to delicately work it in. This just seems to want to cut that first initial stroke because it's happening on the pull it just seems easier for some reason. So definitely working there with little finger and thumb to just put the pressure on as I'm pulling back, not when I'm pushing forwards. So delicate forwards, little bit of hand pressure there. And if we do that, it cuts really cleanly and doesn't seem to get stuck. Now, what if I hold it up here? Does that make a difference? You can be a little bit more aggressive, maybe. Maybe it's a bit more about me pushing down with my whole arm rather than levering from back here. Hmm. I suspect over time you'll get used to where to stand as well. Do I want to stand back here from my work, holding it and using arm nice and straight like that? Or am I going to use a, a snooker technique, pretending I'm playing billiards? I suspect the more I use this, the more I'll get used to it. And I think that's true with any tool that you buy, isn't it? So I bought this to do rip cuts. Let's try again. Again, it just wants to start that cut. I really like that pull action to start the cut off. Ooh, that's me getting a bit aggressive again. Ooh, that's interesting. Maybe I'm putting a little bit too much pressure on. There is a there's a little imprint in here that's supposed to hold the blade steady. Make sure I've tightened that up enough. And maybe not trying to go quite so aggressive with it. Now, one thing I haven't really thought about up to now is the fact that the, because this is a thinner blade, the cut itself is substantially thinner than a western saw. So if I just cut a nice line through here, and then let's do the same thing right next to it with a standard saw. The difference between the two is pretty enormous. So the size of the kerf that's needed for a western blade because it just needs to be thicker compared to that Japanese blade. So because that Japanese blade is always under tension with the pull, it doesn't need to be as thick. So that saw kerf is instantly thinner. So overall thoughts with this Japanese blade. Well, I'm not particularly going to talk about how sharp it is and how well it cuts because it's a brand new saw. It should do, and it does. And even a cheap hack of a saw, brand new from a hardwood saw, um, you can do that with, it's fine. Um, it looks to me like this isn't hardened steel, which means it's going to be sharpenable. So that's something that might be able to happen in due course as well. I think I'm going to have to get a proper sharpening file though, because that looks really, really thin in there. Now I bought this um, specifically for the rip cut blade on here and yes it, the rip cut version of here works better than any of the cross cut saws that I've done for doing rip cuts as it should do. Um, it's not really a fair comparison to judge that against the other saws but this blade the cross cut blade is a direct comparison of any of the western saws that I have and I tell you what I think I like it. Now I haven't used this much. As much as you've seen on this video is how much I've used this saw. And the biggest thing that points out to me straight away is that initial cut 
is so clean and simple it's not teeth bouncing over the edge to try and get that first cut in which seems to happen a lot with western saws doesn't it this just seems to want to cut it wants to start it's such a different feel uh, same hand techniques of putting a little bit of pressure on uh, to go through we found yes you can definitely put too much pressure on this and it will bend at this point does that put me off using it no i don't think it does i think that was my technique rather than a problem with the saw itself am i going to try a few more japanese versions of tools that i use as a westerner do you know what i think i might i think the next thing i might try out is a japanese hand plane they work consistently on the pull rather than the push now i've shown on a number of occasions that you can use a standard stanley number four by pulling rather than pushing but as the japanese planes are designed to do that it'd be interesting to see if there's any real difference so i might get one of those in the future make sure you click the subscribe button to see if that comes out soon until next time sharpen your tools if you can try something different and i'll see you soon god bless